Hey, this is Alan Bach. I'm at my roping ranch in Mount Vernon, Texas, and I'm fixing to show you one of my favorite drills. It's a clover leaf pattern. It's where I have four barrels, and we go around each barrel in a big circle, and it's all about keeping your horse in position. You just hold on to your rope to start with, so you can totally concentrate on just using your hands and feet. And the goal is to keep your horse in position and as framed up as possible. Um, really helps you to learn how to pay attention to how much energy you're putting in your legs and if you're moving your left hand around or if you're moving your body around. You can really practice sitting up straight, keeping your left hand still, and keeping your legs still unless you do want to move your horse around. Um, hope you enjoy this drill. It's helped this new horse that I just got is the one you'll be watching. It's helped him a lot and I'm sh gonna show you some footage where we roped live cattle on that little horse right after I did this drill and it really did help him a lot. He never missed the corner one time where he had been running by the corner a little bit because he w was unsure of his position to be in. Okay, as <clears throat> you're watching me come in to the left of the steer, that's what I call lane two. Lane one is when you're straight behind, and I use this at all my schools. When most people, they get to looking at the feet so much that they'll ride their horse straight behind the smarty, and they'll be in lane one, which is right behind the steer. Where you wanna be is just far enough to the left that you can just barely see that left leg and that'll keep you from leaning over out in the right stirrup quite as much and changing the angle of your swing. Um, lane three is the next lane over, and uh, once in a while when your horse comes in too early, he'll obviously cut the corner and get in lane three. So there'll be times through this drill that you'll see my horse move around a little bit, and if you were seeing close enough, I'll use my leg and I'll push him over into lane two. If he, if he leaks over into Behind the Smarty, I'll push him back with my right leg, or if he leaks over in lane three, I'll push him back with my left leg. Um, if he gets a little bit close, you know, of course I'll take up on the range just a little bit, but the more you do this, you'll be amazed at the fact that your horse will find his position so good that he'll even, once he gets up there, he'll raid off on his own and he'll stay in position. One horse I did it so much on that I could drop my reins and not even touch the reins the whole time, which kind of proved to me what, how much value there is in this. Now obviously you see me roping right here. Most of the drills that I do, you're gonna see that it gives you a chance to isolate your riding and, and work on your roping. This here, fortunately, you can practice your riding, keeping your horse in position, and you can practice roping like <clears throat> you can see all all rope off of each of the end barrels like barrel two and barrel four when you're coming into the corner here coming around the barrel like i was saying before your horse will want to like move his hip in and that's where you'll want to use your left leg and frame him up like right in here <clears throat> you might not see it but i'm using either the calf of my leg or my feet to frame my horse up. Real important to me that he's keeping his shoulders and his hips as perfectly in line in lane two and framed up with smarty as I possibly can. <clears throat> now when I actually come off of the barrel, I might even let the smarty get a little bit further ahead of me and then I'll start my swing and I'll go ahead and ride into position and, and practice staying in time with my horse's front feet and then I'll rope the smarty. Okay, now as you watch me rope the smarty, I want you to watch <clears throat> the speed that I'm swinging. I'm trying to swing the same speed as my horse's left front foot. Every time my horse's left front foot's down, you should see the tip of my rope coming down over the smarty's back. And then I also try to rope right in time with my horse's stride. That helps you so much for when you're roping live cattle. No matter what speed that you're roping at, you want to stay in time with your horse. Okay, as we watch 
me make a run on uh, live cattle here. A tip for horses that do run by the corner. If you notice, I stayed back just a little bit and I didn't ride too high. <clears throat> that definitely is a lot more fair to your horse. If you stay back just, just a stride or so, it's easier for them just to see the corner and for you to just fall in there and find lane two. I was really happy with the <clears throat> five runs that I made on this horse after I did my drill. And you can see the timing that I'm trying to keep with my horse as you watch these runs. Again, watch st speed of my swing and how I'm staying with my horse's front feet. And I was really happy with the way he stayed in position. Felt like helped him a lot to do that drill before I ran these steers. All right, I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you got a lot out of it. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos. Uh, you wanna check out YouTube, my website, bachroping.com. Um, I'll be putting a lot more drills on there and I wanna just put more and more things <clears throat> on there for you guys that'll help you with your roping and how to use your Smarty in a better way.